making our Christmas memories. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to Vlogmas Day 11. So today is something a little bit different than I've ever done on my channel. It was actually inspired by my friend Laura, who I have mentioned so many times here on my channel. We actually just did another collaboration with each other yesterday. If you guys didn't catch that, I will go ahead and link that right here. But we did a really easy, affordable DIY um, gift idea for teachers, or really they could be used for anyone in your life. So. Definitely check those videos out because there are some really good ideas that we are sharing with you. Um, but back in the fall, she actually did a video where she shared her five favorite fall or Halloween inspired movies. And I thought it was such a great idea. Chris and I are really, really big movie buffs. Um, although we really don't get to watch them a whole lot now just with having a toddler. Um, but we love movies. We have a huge collection of them. And we always love like hearing about new movies or watching new ones. So I thought it would be really fun to do one for Christmas. And ironically enough, she actually just did the same video um, I think last week. So definitely check it out because she shared some movies that um, I definitely love, but also some that I've never seen or even heard of. So I always like watching these videos because you always get new ideas of things that you can watch. So I am having a really hard time narrowing it down to five. I may even have to do a like part two because I have so many favorite Christmas movies and it's really hard. So I think this is gonna be part one, and I'm gonna give you five of my favorite, probably my top five favorite, and then I'll do a part two maybe next week and share with you um, another group of five favorites because it's really hard to choose. So these are in no particular order, although I will say that the very first one that I wanna share with you is my all-time favorite Christmas movie and that is White Christmas. So that is a movie that I have to watch every single year at Christmas time. I just love it. It just it like gives me all of the feel good, warm and fuzzy emotions inside. It's a little bit of a longer movie and it is an older movie. So if you're not into older movies, you may not like it. It was set in the 50s, which I love that era. I'm so drawn to that era. I love watching movies and shows from that that time period. I just I don't know what it is. I love the way that they dressed and I just loved how their demeanor was at, back in that time. And I don't know, there's just something just so attractive to me with that era. I just think the guys were just really handsome and um, charming and the women were just so beautiful and elegant and classy. And I'm just in love with movies from that time period. So White Christmas stars Bing Crosby and Rosemary Clooney, who by the way is George Clooney's aunt. And basically what it is, is there's two guys that were in the military, they become best friends, they get out of the military and they go on tour all over the country with this song and dance show that they have. And they end up teaming up with two sisters who are doing the same thing. And if you've ever heard that song, sisters, sisters, this is the movie that that song came from. And they somehow end up teaming up together and they end up in Vermont in this like rundown, um, in I guess and come to find out the guy who is running the inn is actually the two guys commander from the military and they set up this whole thing to surprise him to bring in a bunch of people a bunch of their old military friends to come in and they do this whole like big production and it brings in all these people and all this revenue and it's just one of those like really feel-good movies I love it so so much if you've never seen it it is a must see for sure so the next movie i'm going to share with you is definitely at the top of chris and i's favorites for movies just in general not even just christmas movies but movies all together it is the first movie we ever watched together at a theater and that movie is four christmases if you guys have not seen four christmases oh my goodness if you need a good laugh you need to watch that movie because it is his Hysterical. Like we always joke that that movie is us. So it has so many good people in it. Um, Reese Witherspoon and Vince Vaughn are the two main characters in it when we love them both. And they're a couple that's dating. They feel like it's not necessary to ever get married or have kids. They're just enjoying life. They're living life. They travel and they do all of these amazing things together. And they both come from broken families. Both of their parents are divorced and 
they've just decided that marriage is not something that they feel they need to do to show their love for each other. So every year at Christmas time, they take some extravagant trip somewhere tropical, but they always tell their family that they're going on some sort of mission trip where they're, I think they said that they're going to Burma to inoculate babies. And they do all of these different things every year to really just get out of going to Christmas with their families because their families are so nuts and dysfunctional. So this year they're going to Fiji and they get to the airport and find out that all of the flights are grounded because of bad weather. And it turns out to be this big ordeal. The news crew is there. They end up interviewing them and their family see them on TV and realize that they're in town for Christmas. So they end up having to go and see all of their, all four of their families. So that's why it's called Four Christmases. They have to go see all four of their families for Christmas that day. And it is just hilarious to see the different dynamics between each family. There are so many good people in it. Kristen Chenoweth is in it. Dwight Yoakam is in it. Um, Robert Duvall, Sissy Spacek, John Favreau, Mary Steenburgen. Tim McGraw, Katie Mixon. I mean, there is a whole slew of people in it and it is so freaking funny. I just like, I could watch it over and over and over again and never get sick of it. It is just one of those movies you have to see. So another favorite of mine is actually a really classic and old movie and that is Home Alone. And I think pretty much everybody has seen Home Alone. I am not a big Macaulay Culkin fan, but I do really love this movie. It's one of those movies that I could watch over and over again at Christmas time. If you haven't seen it, basically it's about this little boy who is played by Macaulay Culkin and his family is going to Paris for Christmas that year um, to see his uncle and their entire family is going. So like not only his immediate family, but his aunt and uncle and cousins are going. I think there's like 12 to 15 of them going as a big group. Anyways, the night before they leave, he is like just in this really rotten like tantrum throwing mood and his mom sends him upstairs all the way like upstairs I think it's in the attic to sleep for the night and he basically tells them like he wishes he something like he wishes he never had his family or he wishes they would go away and he wakes up the next morning to find out that they left without him and they didn't leave him intentionally when they were doing the head count to get into the van. Their little neighbor boy happened to somehow get counted in as him. So they have no idea that they left him home alone until they're on their way to Paris mid-flight. And um, so anyways, basically he's stuck at home by himself. I think he's like seven or eight years old. And there's these two robbers who Joe Pesci plays one of them. And um, they're like, you know, checking out all the houses in the rich, fancy neighborhoods to see who's going to be gone for Christmas and breaking in and stealing all their stuff. So it turns into this whole big thing where they're trying to break into his house and he finds out about it and he sets up all these different ploys to get them to leave. And it's really funny. It's just like a little over the top, but it's really funny to watch. Chris and I always like every year we're always like, okay. If you had to pick like which guy would you be in you know the whole robbery scene because both of them get put through the ringer of all of the things that happen to them <laughs> while they're trying to break into his house and it's really hard to pick because you know they get like their hands burned and they step on broken ornaments and you know they have their tar and feathered basically and just all of these different things that happen to them and it's hysterical to watch. It's definitely one of those really fun family movies to watch. The next one that I want to share with you is one that I don't feel like gets enough like love and credit and it's also a favorite like classic movie for Chris and I to watch all year round and that movie is Just Friends. We love this movie so much. Another like really really funny movie if you guys have never seen it. It also has a bunch of really great people in it. Ryan Reynolds is in it. Amy Smart is in it. Anna Faris, Chris Klein. Such a good classic movie. Basically, Amy Smart and Ryan Reynolds characters are best friends growing up through high school. Ryan plays a really, really fat, like, bullied, made fun of kid all through high school. Amy was like the really popular, cute cheerleader that everybody loved, but they were best friends. And as they grow up and they move on with their lives, 
Chris, who is Ryan's character, moves out to California. He becomes this big time, like, you know, celebrity. And he's like, you know, a music manager of some sort. And Anna Ferris plays a really famous musician that he is managing and kind of dated on, you know, the side. And um, long story short, she's going on tour and they somehow get stuck in New Jersey where he's from and they end up spending the holidays at home with his family, which he's not been there in years and years. Like he has not gone back since he graduated from high school. So they're stuck in his hometown. He reconnects with all of his old friends, including Amy Smart, who he's had this long time crush on forever. And um, it's just really funny. Like it's just one of those movies that will have you rolling on the ground from laughter like crying because you're laughing so hard. It is so funny and Anna Ferris's character is like hilarious in it. Like it is one of my favorite characters of her by far. So definitely a must see if you've not seen that one yet. And the very last movie that I'm going to be sharing with you today is another really good Christmas classic and that is Elf. And I feel like all the movies I really gravitate towards are like feel good, family, comedy movies for Christmas, actually just in general. But um, Elf is so funny. It's one of those movies that I did not like at first and it it grew on me over the years and now it's one of my favorites. I love Will Ferrell but for some reason I just thought the movie was so stupid at first but now it's so funny and it's one of those movies that we quote over and over and over again. So Elf is about this Elf, who's played by Will Ferrell, and his mother passes away and he is left as an orphan. He somehow ends up with Santa and his elves at the North Pole and raised by them. So his whole life he's grown up thinking he's an elf, even though he's a giant compared to all of them. And his dad, who is an elf as well, finally tells him the truth and they send him along on his way to New York City to find his real father, meet him, and see if he can become part of their family as well. And it's just really funny because he's in New York City, he's dressed as an elf, people think he's like in costume because it's the holidays and he's, you know, part of like a Santa workshop thing at the mall. And um, he's just like really over the top with everything that he does true Will character form and um, everything is like exaggerated because he's an elf and he gets so excited about all of these things so it's just a really funny and sweet story of how he kind of turns his dad who's on the naughty list into becoming a very loving and caring person and they eventually take him in and it's just hysterical to watch but it also has a really sweet and warm story to it as well so definitely a must see if you have not seen that movie so those are the top five Christmas movies that I'm sharing with you today like I said next week I will definitely be sharing with you five more because it is just too hard for me to pick and these are all really really great movies if you've not seen them I highly recommend them especially if you just need like a really good belly laugh at this time of the year so thank you guys so much for watching leave in the comments below what some of your favorite Christmas movies movies are especially if there's ones that I've never seen or haven't even heard of um, I always just love hearing from you guys and hearing what your recommendations and suggestions are definitely give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was a fun little video to do and um, if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing hitting that bell notification so you can stay up to date on when my videos go up during Vlogmas, I am posting Monday through Friday, and then during the rest of the year, I typically upload three times a week with motherhood and lifestyle content. So thank you guys so much for sharing in your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!